Hey folks, this is Monk with Sofa King News, and I'm here with Kieran Cray, and you are in charge, you are the director of the movie In View. Yes. Okay, I want to get that right. This one I read up on it is a, a little bit dark, it sounds like. Is that right? Yeah, just a wee bit. I, I, I have a tendency to write dark, though I am quite a happy person. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of the dark tale of a, a, an Irish cop who's had uh, made some bad choices in her life, and she compounded them, and she's in a bad place. And she's kind of in that place where she doesn't know whether to move on or go back, like you know. So um, it's kind of a, it's a film of two of two halves. The first half, she's kind of she's going down, um, but she she still feels hope that she can still kind of come out of this ever depression. Um, she's she drinks quite a bit. Uh, she's prone to uh, to do anything, literally. Um, and it's kind of like she, she lost her baby, she lost her husband. Uh, she just can't, can't really work over that. She can't get over it, like, you know, so. So basically, she decides the only way she can pay back for all the, the wrong things she's done in life is to, is to take her own life so she can donate her organs to help other people. So that's why it's a film of two halves. She's going down to that point, And then she's kind of tidying up her affairs to try and uh, to, to get to the stage where she can get her organs donated. Trying to head toward redemption in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely, yeah. Like the only redemption that she can actually, she can find. Um, and she's two colleagues who are trying to dissuade her from doing what she wants to do. Um, but it's, it started out as a chase movie, but it kind of metamorphosized into this kind of very much a character driven piece. Like the, the lead actress, she's in every scene or observing every scene. If she's not in the scene, it's not on screen. So it's really just focused completely on her. And so it, it works quite well like that. It's kind of very European like okay. style, like, you know, so. And speaking of European, I, I, have a, I love European and Asian films, sometimes more than Americans. Um, would, do you feel that it would be right in the ballpark of Americans to capture or maybe, because there are some things that I've showed my friends that are just like up here above their heads. Yeah, well, it depends on the film, depends on the filmmaker. And um, people like say Michael Haneke, like, you know, films like Amour, The White Ribbon anybody can access them and there's such good films and like with more. I mean there's two locations there was a piano recital and her and their apartment that was it like you know and the whole film wraps around her apartment and it really is it's a stunning film and I'm not surprised he won the Palm d'Or wouldn't we all like to um, <laughs> but yeah I mean some they're hard to access but a lot of them they're not I think the main difference is if you can classify it I think with European films they let the actors do more of the work than the camera, where in America it's more the cameras doing the work than the actor. I have to yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So where did you film this one? This was filmed in Ireland, in um, uh, probably we were eleven. We had an eighteen-day shoot, so we did eleven days in Dublin, uh, nine days in or uh, seven days in a, a local town, provincial town in Ireland, and um, we picked a lot of iconic Dublin locations because obviously I'm, I'm a born and bred Northside dub that doesn't mean anything to you but it means a lot to Northside dubs <laughs> uh, and uh, like it's, I always love like you know picking the really good locations and, yeah. and I had a very good DOP on it David Grennan and Dave Grennan like you know and he really brought it out I think the most we ever used on any scene was four lights but you usually use one to three yeah. uh, if you can see the film it's it's really the colouring it was really beautiful like you know and then again I, I had a fantastic editor um, Tony Cranston really 30 years of experience, I mean, he really pushed me to, to the limit yeah. on it, like, you know, and when you get that, it really does help the film, because, I mean, people say a film by, but for me, it's a film by everybody, because they all do their bit, like, you know, they all, if they mess up, I'll blame them. If they do a fantastic job, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I'll just say. Thank you so much for no talking with me. Congratulations and good luck. My name is Monk, and I'm on the carpet, and I'm brought to you by AbitureRent.com.